Welcome. Today we are going to talk through the epilepsy diagnosis process, which can seem confusing and foreign to many people. First, let us say that diagnosing epilepsy is never easy. It can take quite a long time to get all the information the doctor needs to make a diagnosis of epilepsy. This can be extremely confusing and stressful for the patient and their family and friends. The diagnostic process normally starts with an examination by the doctor. The doctor will usually consider the person's background and medical history and conduct a physical examination. After that, the doctor will normally refer the patient for more technical tests and investigations to assess the type of seizures. Once they have all the information, they can make a diagnosis. Throughout the journey, you are likely to meet many other medical and health professionals who will help you through the process. The two main specialists you will meet are a neurologist and an epileptologist. Some of the other healthcare professionals to treat and support you are pharmacists, nurses, social workers, speech and language therapists, occupational therapists, psychiatrists, pediatrician. But wait, there's more. Neuropsychologists, psychologists, radiologists, physiotherapists, neurosurgeons. With all of this, again we say that the diagnosis can take some time and can be very frustrating. These are just some of the tests that can be used in the diagnostic process. A physical examination, pathology tests, electroencephalogram, computer tomography, magnetic resonance imaging. People sometimes think that imaging tests such as an EEG, CT scan or MRI will determine that they have had a seizure. However, information from tests alone can't always confirm that a seizure has occurred or that the person has epilepsy. Personal observations and other information also contribute to all the information the doctor needs for a definite diagnosis of epilepsy. Being diagnosed with epilepsy can be an emotional time. Learning that you, your child, or someone you care for are living with epilepsy means that there will be lots of information to take in. You might feel overwhelmed, concerned, sad, or even angry. All of this is normal. If you are struggling and feel that you could benefit from additional professional support, speak to your neurologist or GP about referral to a psychologist. You may also want to speak to an external crisis counselling and support service, such as Beyond Blue, Lifeline or Kids Helpline. The Epilepsy Foundation aims to empower and support people of any age diagnosed with epilepsy by providing support, guidance, information and connection to peer support. To learn more about how we can assist you, contact our information line on 1300 852 853.